All right, here's an update to the Funeral Home Road Rage video with some YouTube privacy policy takedown drama built in. So YouTube initially found in my favor of privacy complaints, but then later took down the video. So first, let's take a look at the video, though this time his face is blurred. That's not your parking your spot. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. All right. Yes, it is. Okay. Try it again. I'll take your eyes out. I'll do it every day. All right. Every, every day. day. Every day. Every day. You try it. I'll take your eyes out. Yeah. All right. I'm right here. Do something. Here's a little backstory. In Philadelphia, you can request a loading zone outside your business, but the application I linked in the description below says, quote, behavior that could result in the removal of your zone includes putting traffic cones in the loading zone, using the zone as your own personal parking spot, or telling citizens that they're not allowed to park in the zone. It only starts to bother me when they put cones out close to where I ride. I went to the police that day and filed a report. The detective recommended felony ag assault with some misdemeanors. However, the DA refused to press any charges. While these legal actions were playing out, I had the video marked unlisted on YouTube. A few weeks ago, I figured I was pretty much done with pursuing anything else and decided to make the video public. Someone posted it on Reddit Road Cam and someone else posted it to videos where it hit number one before being taken down due to people posting this personal information. The business got quite a few negative reviews on Google and two local online magazine and blogs contacted me to write up a story. They followed up with a DA as to why charges were not pressed. So here's a YouTube drama. After making the video public, I received three privacy complaints in the span of an hour. I responded by removing other users' comments that linked to his Twitter or even had his first name mentioned. 48 hours later, I received no communication from YouTube and the video stayed up. Nearly a week later, I received another privacy complaint. I again responded describing what I've done to remove comments with personal info, and by this time, the articles I mentioned before were online, which adds to the video's newsworthiness, which YouTube says they consider when evaluating privacy policy complaints. This time, I did receive a response from YouTube 48 hours later, and they found it in my favor. YouTube, quote, determined that the content is accepted from removal based on our privacy guidelines, and quote, the content does not violate our policies and will remain on the site. I figured this is the end of the privacy complaints. YouTube comments started coming in from his friends saying what a nice and gentle person he was. I'm not about to censor them, so I left them off. One comment in particular mentioned how they will continue to report this video until it's taken down. Another two weeks or so later, I received round three of privacy complaints. I again responded to what steps I've already taken, along with how YouTube previously ruled in my favor that it doesn't violate the privacy policy. 48 hours later, no response from YouTube, so I figured nothing would happen, similar to the first privacy policy complaints I received. Nine days later, I suddenly get an email that my video violates their policy and my video has been removed. It looks like this time they reported it for being inappropriate, which is a little ironic since the funeral home director was the only one acting inappropriately in the video. I don't see a way to contest this action. So that's basically it. YouTube support seems like a bot. Every time I email them, I only get back a literal copy and paste response. So the new plan is to post this video with his face blurred and censoring him swearing to avoid any privacy or inappropriate reporting by his friends. This time it's marked Creative Commons with no monetization, so feel free to share and repost. I know YouTube's received some heat recently around copyright and DMCA complaints, but in my opinion, the privacy and inappropriate video flagging is also pretty broken.